Hello everybody and welcome to Origaru Season 3 Episode 3 Anime Review. Boy, we keep we keep turning, is all I'm gonna say. This prom is gonna be is gonna be mental. This I mean pretty much everybody had a decent singing in this week's episode. Uh, I mean not literally everybody, there were a few characters that didn't really show their faces. But everybody I care about, damn it. You know, Saki was there, Yui was there, Yukino was there, Iroha was there, Totsuka. Totsuka was there. You can't forget about Totsuka. That's that's the most important. Uh, genuinely, because it's been a few months. A few months. Eight months, nine months, however many it's been. For a second I forgot Totsuka was a boy. I was like, oh yeah, right, he's a guy. Gotta remember that. That's important to the story. Um, but yeah, weird that I forgot that. Is it weird? No, it's not weird, is it? It's a normal thing. Anyway, as I said, it was a good episode. They're all good episodes. There's some... Hiratsuka Sensei was weird at the... Not weird, but she was poetic. We'll call it poetic at the beginning. Anyway, let's get on with the episode, see exactly how everything went down. Let's do this. At the beginning, we start with Hiratsuka Sensei, as I said, when... It's like a flashback to when uh, Hikigai came to get the keys. Uh, I, I've looked at this scene a couple of times because it's just right at the beginning. I watched it a few times over. And I can't really figure out what they were, she was being a metaphor at the end. But I can't really figure out what they were on about. Like, why it was so important they showed it. Other than, it's busy, you know? It's just like, it's busy and she wasn't working. So, is there something there that I'm completely not getting? Or are we supposed to not get it yet? That's the, that's the real question. Later on, Hickey's tired because he stayed up gaming all night. You shouldn't do that. It's, uh, you know, you get at least an hour sleep. It's, it's, to be fair, if he stayed up for multiple nights in a row, so he's not slept for like two days, and he's still awake, like, I'd be asleep on my feet. And he was still pretty awake, so that's a, that's an achievement right there for Hickey Guy. Totsuka checks on him, and, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's Totsuka being a concerned friend, we'll say, and Hickey Guy, uh, Hickey Guy tries to ask him on a date, so... There's that. You could say it was just a hangout, but we know how Hikigaya is, okay? We, we know. However, he's busy, unfortunately. He gets a text from Komachi quick. But before he gets to open it, though, zoom, bloody Sonic goes past. No, I'm sorry, it was just Kawasaki. Saki Kawasaki. She zooms out, to which Hikigaya sees that and is like, oh, I figured it out. And then he zooms off after her. Um, what it actually is, is... Um, their siblings, they passed their exams, and they got into the school. Good job, Komachi and Taichi. You did it. Congratulations. Loads of congratulations happening on all sides. Totsuka also ran with Hikigaya for some reason. Not too sure why on that, other than just to be a good friend, which, hey, fair enough. But, um... I, were they right outside? They must have just been right outside. Like, I was thinking, like, did they go to another school? It was probably just outside, it was their school's entrance, it was probably just outside their school, what am I thinking? Of course it was their school, I'm a dum-dum. Um, but yeah, there's there's hugs going on and everything, nice stuff. Yui shows up, she gets a hug too from Komachi. Hugs all around, Hickey texts his mum to say, hey, she did it. We did it, Ma, we did it. Um, later on, I'm going to stick this bit here because uh, you know it would be too short otherwise. Later on, Eroha is asking... Hickey, Hickey Gaia for help. Because of course she is. That's 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 what she does. She just wants to talk to Hickey Icky Man. Uh, and then he says, don't rely on Yukino so much. Because she's not she's not tough at all. She will break very easily. Which is, she, she looks tough. She acts tough. She ain't tough. Is basically how I would describe Yukino in a nutshell. Um, no one likes being treated as a younger sister. Basically, Iroha saying, don't sister zone me, bro. I don't want to... That is the worst, though. The old, uh, you're like a sister to me or you're like a brother to me. Don't do that. Like, I think if it was me, I'd rather be brutally, like, castrated than hear that. Like, th that's pretty bad. Like, don't do that. Um, but yeah, then she calls him a dad, to which he takes great offense. And his, mo his monologue, his monologues in this season have been really good, I think. Like, they were always good. This season, they've been on point. Like, and it's we're only three episodes in. Um, don't call him a dad, obviously. And then they basically have a thing where they're like, it, it felt, it felt like a shot at all those, like, little, those, like, Emoto shows. Where it was like, what is wrong with people? You don't treat little sisters like that, they're your little sister. And it's like, is that a, 
Is that a is that a message right there? You're saying, hey, don't shag your little sister. I'll just say it. That's basically what they were saying. And hey, uh, yeah, don't 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 be doing that. It's fine in anime because it's anime, but don't don't replicate. There's trained, professionally trained athletes do not imitate what they do. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm getting tired, but it's fine. Uh, but then basically, my my takeaway from this is. Oh, he, he totally just got tricked into helping her, didn't he? And, uh, tricked might be a strong word, but he, he's got to help her now. So, damn it, Hickey guy, you've got no backbone when it comes to these women. These, these women. It's mostly just Iroha, though, isn't it? Yeah, mostly. Later on, he goes to the council room to go help. Who is there waiting? It's Yui's there, and Yukino's there, and Iroha's there. It's a group meeting, I guess. They announced the prom on social media, which Hickey Guy didn't know about, because he doesn't use social media. Like, what? He's got better things to do, like play video games. Um, so they show him what they've done in the gym after that. They, they've done it all up. They've decorated it. It looks very nice. Good job, everyone. Um, yeah, Iroha didn't tell him anything about what he's actually doing, though. So, like, he accepted this job. To be fair, I put most of the blame on him. Like... If someone was like, hey, can you help me? I'd be like, with what? You know, I'm not going to accept things. Basically, what they're doing is they're filming a PV or promotional video. That's what PV stands for. I went so long without knowing that. And I was like, what the hell is PV? And I looked it up one day. It's promotional video. Um, he's still cool with doing it, though. It's it's fine. He's like, whatever. And I'm like, whoa. Whoa, Hickey Guy. That's very un Guy of you. Offering your help freely? For being in a video. Crazy stuff. Um, Iroha realizes she was careless. Like Iroha. She's she's grown. I, did, I couldn't stand her at the beginning when she first showed up. But uh, I guess that's the point. Like I've they, They've got me. Damn it. Uh, but no, it's good. I like it. Um, Hiki then puts on his suit. Yukino is also wearing a suit. And they look like they're a couple of secret agents. Like they're about to save the world. Like Mission Impossible well, how many? There's a lot of Mission Impossible movies. I'm not going to try and figure that out. Tom Cruise is Hachiman Hikigaya. Think of that one. Origairu live action. Tom Cruise is Hikigaya. And, um. I don't know who would be Yukino. I. I this. This. I, I, I. Leave who would be Yukino in the comments down below. Um. Then Hiki goes to see Yui. And she's getting her, her dress on. Uh. Saki tighten. When she tightens her thingy up. I don't know what that's called. I've never worn a dress. She tightens that thingy and Yui's face is like, Oh my god, kill me. That was pretty good too. Uh, and then Hickey is just just staring at her doing her makeup. Like, not even like... I mean, he's just staring. He is just dead on staring. She's like, please don't. And he's like, oh, my bad. And then continues to stare a little bit more. She wants to look good for the video even though it's going to be edited because she's like, the raw footage will always be there and I'll never delete that. And I'm like... That, that's really nice. That's that's actually really nice. I like Yui too. I like everyone. Damn it. No, I've been got. I've been got because I like everyone. That's that's bad. Um, then we have Hikigaya being, doing the old gentleman arm thing with, with uh, Yui because of whatever. Uh, then we see Hiki, uh, Hikigaya, the other two, Yukino and Iroha doing their, um, what do you call it, thingy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm broken here. I'm actually broken. They're dance on the video. And they're just, they're all over the place. They're covering so much ground. That's impressive. Part two of the video is going to, it's going to be like a crowd shot, but following uh, Yui and Higigaya. So they got to do that. And again, he is surprisingly on board with this, like being the center of attention. It's like, okay, character growth. I love it. Uh, and he's, as they're dancing, he's, I, I mean, he's nervous. He's like, I'm super sweaty. I'm gross. It's terrible. And she's like, dude, calm, calm it down. You're not that bad. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's nice. Then they do some sweet yay dancing. Everybody's dancing about. That was yay, by the way, with a Y. Uh, everyone's dancing. Everyone's having a good old time. Uh, Iroha just is giving Tobe the evils at this one point. It, I, it just looked like she was fed up with his crap. So, sorry, Tobe. Um... Hickey, at the end, he goes to the side watching. He's like, so this is what prom is. And he's like, yeah, this this is not my scene. I'm I'm out. I'm out of here. I, I don't belong here. And uh, that's where the episode ended. Funny stuff all around. 
not too much in the way of forward momentum other, other than the, uh, hey, oh, no, I take it back, there was. Komachi got into the school, bloody, the, the, the prom thing's happening. I wonder when we're going to get the actual prom, like the proper one, not the practice one. Because, uh, I mean, it doesn't, from the preview, it doesn't look like it's going to be next week. Bloody Yukino Mom is going to show up next week, it looked like in the preview. Uh, what else? I forgot. That was all I remembered from the preview is Yuki no Mum. So uh, that's a that's a thing. What do people call her? Yuki Mama? I, I don't know. I know that uh, Yui's mum is Yui Gamama and that's funny because it's like you change one letter and you make it funny. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was another good episode. Uh, curious to see what's going on. I, I mean, we're all just waiting for the wait at this point. We're waiting for the the big thing. It's probably going to happen, and uh, it's it's going to be amazing. I'm I'm curious to see what happens. I feel like the fact that Yuki no Mom is showing up next week is a sign something's going to happen. Like, I got a feeling there's going to be a big thing happen next week. I can feel it in my gut. Although that might be the slightly out of date food I ate for dinner. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap this up here. It was enjoyable. Hajiman and his internal monologues are funny as always. Also, just his banter with everyone. His banter with um, Iroha in the middle. Just really funny. Got me, got a chuckle out of me. They were so, having so much fun. But uh, yeah, let's wrap this up. Thank you, everybody, for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff for more reviews. That would help me out a lot. Thank you very much. I will see you next week for another episode of this. Take care. And bye, guys.